Hi, uh, it's Tim from Total Lockout. Uh, some of you who follow my feed on LinkedIn will have seen a post a few weeks ago about a new product uh, we were developing, um, a new circuit breaker lockout. Specifically, this lockout was for uh, one of these. This is a Mitsubishi uh, CP30 circuit protector. So what we did was we designed the new locking device on SolidWorks on 3D CAD modeling and we've had the first few uh, uh, printed, produced by 3D printing and here it is here. Uh, it's a great process. Um, we use an online service who clearly have got the latest uh, equipment for this kind of activity and it gives you super high quality finish uh, a polished finish and they're even offering um, the prints coloured you can have them dye coloured now as well which you see here and we've just adopted a fairly traditional lockout tag out red here um, so we're going to try it on the on the Mitsubishi breaker for the first time so let's see if we get this up close to camera so you can see what's going on the device uh, oh, by the way first of all just to illustrate that's the normal on position of the breaker. Push it to off. And now what we can do is we can engage the locking device onto the toggle. Now what I'm going to do now is, in that hole that you see there, it gives us access to a grub screw. Now, I've got the allowing key here which will allow me to tighten up the grub screw and that grub screw just pinches down onto the toggle there you can just feel that tightening up now and holds that in place that's nicely secure now and of course now that's on there you can't push the toggle up or down on or off and the last task to do is just to add your lockout padlock the padlock goes on key comes out he says Brady padlock. We we'll ditch that one. We'll get a better one. American lock padlock. We're going to try this one instead. Don't know why, but the key was jamming in the other one. So shackle open into the locking device and snap the padlock shut. Now what that's done is, that's blocked access to the grub screw. So of course now I can't, with my, grub, with my Allen key here, I can't undo there. So that's on. That's the conventional method of, of uh, securing a lockout, um, um, MCB lockout device in place. Uh, the last task here to do, if I just quickly take the padlock off again, the style of grub screw that we've used here um, is undone with an allen key now it's well established practice that most electricians don't use an allen key or don't carry an allen key they're more likely to have a conventional uh, straight slotted uh, flat bladed screwdriver so just to recap then so this is a 3d print it's of a sufficiently good quality that this is actually a viable uh, production product now and that makes this process of 3d printing ideal for um, what we describe as low batch short run production if your quantities if the quantity demands of this product start to escalate beyond a few hundred then we'd look to uh, a plastic injection molded uh, solution so there you have it, this is the circuit breaker lockout device for the Mitsubishi CP30BA circuit protector. Thanks for watching.